Hello. This is a video on how to use the edge effect in the Snagit editor. I do like using Snagit, but I've always struggled with the edge effect. And after about an hour and a half of fiddling with it, I figured it out and it's not so hard, so that's why I'm making this video. Okay, here we are in the Snagit editor, and I'm going to make a new image and this is not going to be particularly interesting but it's going to show you how to use the edge so I'm going to go ahead and bring this picture in here and I'm going to just resize it a little bit here one of the things that you'll notice is if you have a picture like this and you want to dump in the white background there's this real rough edge here where the blue sky or the dark trees meet the white and it'd be nice if it would fade out let me go ahead and dump the transparent background in there the, the checkerboards means it's transparent and this is how I started so let's see how the edge effect works you can come up here to effects and go edges if you want to or you can come down here and click this effects here you, you get this particular window here either way I'm going to hit edges now it does say that I need to flatten and apply the effect to the selection and I'm going to do that I had already pre-selected my picture and right here are my edges and right now the style is this uh, this wavy one you can have torn and so on um, if you don't want it torn on all the edges you can take away some of the edges like that if you want to but what I want to do is I want the fade effect so this is the fade effect now right now I'm fading a lot so the size of my fade is quite large so I'm gonna drop that down so I'm just fading out here a little bit on the edges that is adjustable one of the things that's important is to understand the difference between an edge effect and border they're very similar right now on my border I have a zero width border so I do not have border maybe at the end of the video I'll explain about the border and also the shadow is another feature I'm doing edges right now one of the things that's important here about using the edge effect is you do have to hit apply now there is one little idiosyncrasy of this that if you just click in space and then you dump in um, a white color here you'll notice that it did not fill in this area that was supposed to be transparent I think that's a uh, maybe a bug in the program so let me go back and show you how to do it correctly so this is an important workaround you come to your edges and you get your size of your edge and your style that you want and you hit apply the quickest workaround is to go ahead and just move this you, you don't even have to move it much but for some reason that does make a difference and then when you dump in your white color I get this nice washed out edge here and it blends in nicely now that could be the end of the video and I've pretty well shown you how to use the edge effect but let me show you a few more features the next little workaround is that when you're working with the edge effect it does require you to flatten the selection and now this is not movable but the workaround is to reselect this and now it's movable and I can still dump in my white background color and it washes out nicely okay now if you've stuck around this long and you're interested in the difference between an edge and a border let me go ahead and explain that so 
let's say that the style we're using here is called wave and I have the wave on, on all four edges. Remember, if you don't want it on an edge, you, you don't have to have it on an edge. So, so this is the edge. Now, let's go ahead and do a border. The border has a width, and right now it's zero, so it's not shown. But if I make my border here, this now has an edge and a border. And if you want this in its full-blown glory, we can also do a shadow. And now it's got a shadow. I'm not recommending that this is a good thing to do. The only purpose of this video is to explain to you how the edge feature works. Let me go ahead and dump in my white snow background. And there you have it. I hope this helps you learn how to use the edge feature. Good luck using the Snagit editor.